Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we're talking about this Sullivan family who are, well, they portray themselves to be this amazing, loving family on YouTube who are just a really relatable and lovely family, and they are looking desperately for their 100k sub mark. That is their goal, and Ben's ultimate goal of his YouTube plaque. It's been a dream of his for so many years, but today we're going to find out exactly what they are like behind the scenes from somebody who knows them in real life that's right Bef but before we do let's take a moment to appreciate today's sponsor for the month of october only we have the halloween merch line over at the merch store um the cutest raccoon ghost on the internet if you want yours today in a line of hoodies t-shirts notepads all sorts of things go over to the merch store today link in the description box below without further ado let's get back on to the video thank you so what are the Sullivan family really like in real life? So, um, I'll preface this by saying, obviously, I don't know this person, um, you know, what, who this person is. So, you know, I'm just taking it from f as face value, at face value, rather. Um, but this is what this person had to say, comment left, it, left on one of my videos recently. Um... I have observed this family on several occasions in our town and I find his behaviour to be quite alarming. For instance, he shouted at Joseph in Tesco while they were looking at toys, displaying a rather unpleasant demeanour. Additionally, I witnessed him mocking Toby for his inwardly turned feet as he walked from the bin to the car in the beach park car park he was imitating toby's walk laughing and urging him to hurry only to later yell at the twins to get into the car and be quiet so he could start filming i also saw him shouting at eva to pose for a family photo on a bench while walking down my street he continued to film and shout at them and i couldn't help but think that if he were paying attention to the children instead of focusing on his phone he could have ensured their safety and prevented them from wandering into the road of course so for, by the sounds of things ben is very preoccupied with youtube we all know that don't we but this proves that he isn't really paying attention to his children and his children are a bit of a nuisance to them now we all know that having kids especially having 12 of them i mean i don't have 12 kids but i can imagine having 12 kids is quite cumbersome cumbersome yes at times you know you get a bit frustrated you want to um, you know kids misbehave and stuff like that but you know what <laughs> they portray themselves to be this perfect family and um they never do anything wrong they they're loving and well they may still be loving i'm not saying they don't love the kids but there's more to it behind the scenes than what they would like you to believe and yes as i said lots of families lots of kids they misbehave the parents have to make the kids be but it doesn't sound like they are you know most parents don't put the kids on the internet for everyone to gawk at they don't do that and ben and zoe obviously do do that but also portray themselves to be this really amazing family and really amazing um parenting network right now we've heard about Ben, what about Zoe? So um, Zoe likely refrains from going out frequently due to the unpopularity of her in our community. So because we all know that Zoe very rarely ventures out. She doesn't go out with the kids because Ben takes them out because Zoe can't cope with the kids, right? But also according to this, Zoe probably doesn't go out because she's not liked right she, she's not liked and um, this is an interesting one which we're going to find out a bit more 
in a second. So I asked the question, I said, do people discuss um, discuss her in your community? And uh, they replied, in their time residing in Lossiemouth, which is where they used to live, the locals would say, there they go, the family who believe they are famous. Well, that <laughs> that's... Um, that pretty much describes Ben and Zoe to a T, right? They do actually think of themselves as being famous. You can see it. You can see how um, how ingrained it is in them now. They're desperate for that YouTube play button. They think of themselves as bigger than they actually are. And I, I'm here to say that they're not, right? Their views are pretty shit. So I'm surprised that they are even they've even quit the jobs to do this, right? They go on to say, I have observed her at Asda and Tesco on several occasions, attempting to evade Monday nights. However, she remains unresponsive when attempting to walk past her. No attention, no intention of letting you past, engrossed in filming on her phone as if oblivious to her surroundings. She presents herself in a rather unkempt manner and displays unpleasant behaviour. So, um, according to this, she um, is just, she's talking into her phone and doesn't give any, any, doesn't bother if anybody's trying to get past her because she's too busy fucking about on her phone. You can imagine, can't you? You can imagine. She's just, she's one of those that, you're trying desperately to get past and and they're just there busy doing whatever it is that they're doing that that's the most important thing in their lives not allowing um you know not being kind and nice to other people anyway yeah we all know that sort of person don't we <laughs> anyway this um this has been a quite a, a nice little insight into how things are behind the scenes behind the cameras you know it's always interesting to find out exactly how people like this um are behind the cameras you know um there was another little tidbit i'd like to show you before we head off right um this person commented on on one of the the recent vlogs and they said this was um a fan Fan, ex fan I guess now I don't know a fan anyway they said don't understand what I am doing wrong here I have tried numerous times to contact you all with questions about your products you have for sale etc only to be ignored I am not a troll I have defended you all so many times in the past all I hear when I watch is subscribe. We want to get to 100,000 subscribers. You do realize people aren't stupid. Why would we want to subscribe, watch, give you money for your products while, while totally being ignored? I don't call that being part of a close community. I call that being used. I am beginning to think a lot of the negativity that surrounds you is there for a very good reason. So this person is not happy, right? They've tried to, they're trying to buy products, they're trying to buy merch, right? And they're not getting even acknowledged, they're being ignored. And um, they're saying that everybody in the comments, you know, they only tend to to reply to, um, um, they, they're not replying to, to the actual subs and not, making them feel valued as a as a sub whilst just being all like single-mindedly heading to well trying to get the 100,000 subs they're not happy anyway but this was backed up by somebody else in the comments who said after reading a comment I have noticed you reply to certain subscribers and can see how some of the others might get hurt maybe reply to all or none this is said out of kindness. So this person is also pointing out that they tend to reply to certain people, like their favourites, I guess, but they don't reply to everybody, and that will lead, you know, it'll lead people to not being feel, not feeling valued on their channel. 
so um, yeah, a bit of discontent is creeping in on the Sullivan channel. And today we found out um, what Zoe and Ben are really like behind the scenes, which is always very interesting to know. Love that for us. <laughs> it's brilliant. So if you have any comments or any suggestions, any additional ness <laughs> to, to mention, Put that in the comments down below. Let me know what you think about all of this. And thank you to everybody who have subbed to my channel. If you are not already subbed, please hit the sub button. Help me get up to 12k because, you know, I don't have delusions of grandeur. I'm not looking for 100k. Just 12 will do me fine. Thank you so much. <laughs> Until next time, have a brilliant day. Take care of yourselves and bye-bye.